Good morning, it's Mike Chen here in Los Angeles. And let's just get right to the food because this is gonna be, this is gonna be a burning hot day. If you are a fan of tacos, burritos, hot Cheetos, this is the place you wanna be. Look at this menu. I'm here at Fatima's Grill and just look at this menu. Flaming Hot Cheetos on um, burritos, on um, fries. You can get it in a wrap, in a quesadilla. And from what I hear, it's not just for show. It actually tastes good. All right, I'm so looking forward to the burritos and uh, they, they have a beer at Consume Crunch Wrap as well. This place is open, already full of people in, and they're so nice. Two free cookies for me. Oh, that's delicious. Strawberry sugar cookie. And the cookies were sitting next to the register. I'm sure he saw me eyeing the cookies because I was eyeing them big time. Cookies and cream. I like this even more. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I mean, come here for the savory food. Definitely grab yourself a cookie. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you so Don't much. Grab a bottle. That's our homemade hot sauce. This is your homemade hot sauce? Yes, wow. Sir. You're gonna love that right there. Thank you. That's pretty spicy, I gotta warn you. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. Wow. This is a lot of food. I really didn't think I ordered this much. So they definitely do not skimp on the amount of stuff they give you. Woo! Look at the size of this burrito. So first of all, I'm gonna open this, this hot sauce. They gave me a hot sauce. This is called Liba Mex. So the story is um, Ali, who's the owner, has his son in there, Cleo. And Fatima is the daughter. So it's a family run business. They used to have a Mediterranean meat market. Then they started a eatery and just kind of blew up from there. Ali actually cooked in a prison. He didn't go to prison, he just cooked in a prison. And that's where he came up with this sauce as well. And now they're throwing hot Cheetos on the food. Oh my goodness, this is so much food. I don't know, I might need a forklift to bring this up. Wow. This is one of the most awesome food creations I've held in my hand. First of all, this burrito looks amazing. Like I want to eat the burrito even without this dusting of hot Cheetos. You know how like when you bite into a food or take a drink, but you're not expecting something, it kind of catches you by surprise? I totally forgot there is mac and cheese in here. So I took a mouthful of mac and cheese and crunchy hot Cheeto bites, and I haven't even reached the meat yet. Usually when people create a novelty item, that's pretty much all it is, is a novelty item. This is delicious. Mac and cheese, so incredibly gooey. The meat, melts in your mouth. Hot Cheetos play such a fun, crunchy, spicy role in this burrito. Sprinkle it with some lime juice. It's citrusy, it's spicy, gooey, and cheesy, and meaty, and everything you love about a burrito, and everything you love as kids, and everything you love as a, as a just a pure food lover, is included right here. Mm. There's also bits of hot Cheetos inside the burrito as well. And everything is grilled to perfection, melts in your mouth. It feels heavy, it does, because when I was lifting it, I mean, half of this might be a pound, but it goes down so easily and so well. Add some of this hot sauce. They told me it was gonna be spicy, which I am excited about. I mean, it's messy, it's gooey, it's got all sorts of delicious stuff stuffed inside, and the sauce gives it such a nice additional kick. I'm trying to make it through all the other items I got because there's so much, and this each food item is about at least a pound and a half, two pounds of food. This place is definitely worth it just for the amount of food they gave you, and the food is so tasty. Oh my goodness. This is a hot Cheeto crunchy wrap, I think. So this looks like hot Cheeto inside, avocado on the bottom, little lettuce. Such fun, delicious flavors. This one, you taste the crunchy Cheetos even more because of the beans and the guacamole wrapped around it. There's also a tortilla inside. What is going on? The stuff like, I don't, I don't even know what's going on. All I know is that my mouth is happy and I'm happy. Mm. This is the Berea Crunchy Wrap. Oh my goodness. Shredded beef inside, cheese, avocado, cilantro, lettuce, beans, and an order of consomme to dip all this in. Oh, the consomme is delicious. 
Tons of so delicious. And the beef in the Brera wrap, I don't think it can get more tender than this. And I am definitely a fan of this hot sauce. Mm. I think three words I would use to describe this place. Fun, delicious, and giant. All right, gotta eat up. Apparently, LA's best burger awaits. All right, this is it. Uh, I'm in front of Gold Burger. So many people have been raving about this place, calling it the best burger in Los Angeles. We'll see about that. All right, problem with coming to a place like this is I can't stop ordering. I think there's five burgers on the menu. I got four of them. Let me show you what I got. There's the classic Gold Burger. And of course, this is all cut. Look. How beautiful this is. Six ounce beef smashed beef patty. So you're gonna get some of that nice beef skirt. Cheese on top, pickles, onions, and just check out that juicy ooze. This is definitely the best part of the burger. That delicious crispy beef skirt. Best burger in Los Angeles. I couldn't really even talk until about three bites in. That is a good burger. Now, is it a best burger in Los Angeles? Honestly, I don't really feel like I'm qualified to answer that because I think in total, maybe I've had three burgers in all of Los Angeles, but this is a delicious burger. Also, this is a burger that's really based on preference. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is the LA burger. Coleslaw, pastrami, cheese, double patty. Look at that pastrami. And when I say preference, this is what I mean. There's different kinds of burgers in the world. Some people prefer a nice, juicy patty where that juice is kind of locked in and when you take a bite, it's like you're biting into a meat geyser. Smash patties are not exactly like that. They got more of a crunchy edge, a crispy barrier, but they're not gonna be as juicy as a thick burger. Oh, this is so good. And typically, I would prefer a giant juice retaining burger, but this is so good. The patties, although not as juicy, so buttery and tender and flavorful. Dip it in the garlic aioli. Mm -hmm. This one especially, with the smoky pastrami and the crispy coleslaw. Oh, that's off the charts good. And check out this one. This might be the greasiest, butteriest of them all. The patty melt. Two burger patties, cheese on top, toast that is completely butter soaked through. This might be what puts me to bed after this place. Oh, that is a cheesy onion peel <laughs> patty melt. I'm very partial to patty melts because when I came to the US, I didn't know what these were. Well, I remember when I was in the school cafeteria and they were serving patty melts. I just thought it was like some toast sandwich. And then I realized it's full potential. Crispy buttered toast, which is on its own delicious. And this one is definitely the juiciest of the three I've been into today. I mean, it's the juiciest, also the greasiest. I mean, listen to this. The crunchy toast and the tender beef patty is the ultimate contrast. 100% recommend the scarlet violet. It has so much flavor to an already delicious burger. Mm. Might actually have to cut today short with those giant burritos, hot Cheeto wraps down the hatch, and these three burgers. It definitely starting to make you feel things. Not just in here. Well, a lot in here. It's jumping kind of fast right now, I feel like. Anyway, pumpkin crumble pie. Three burgers, a pie, and a batch of curly fries later. I think I'm not ashamed to say, I'm happily done for today. I mean, it's not late at all, only about 2 p.m., but I feel good, I feel satisfied, I feel like I accomplished everything I want to accomplish today, food-wise. Now I'll just go back to the hotel, watch a movie, go for a run later. With that said, see you tomorrow.
Ah, leaves are starting to change. That looks nice. Just got back from Los Angeles last night and already today leaving, but going to a place you wouldn't expect. On my way now to Wisconsin for a fish boil. Good evening, it's Mike Chin here in Genoa City, Wisconsin. And when you think of Wisconsin, probably think of cheese curds, probably think of football. But do you ever think of fish boil? Well, you should, because Wisconsin fish boil is a huge thing. And supposedly at Fitzgerald, they do it really, really well. Right, let, let's go take a look. So I'm about an hour from, an hour and a half from Chicago. This gives off a vibe of someone's backyard. And right there, this is where the fish boil happens. So everything here is all you can eat. You can either go for fish only, or you can go for fish and chicken, or fish and ribs, we're all three. All three, for me, of course. So this is where they do all their cooking. Three cauldrons right here where the fish will go into. There's barbecue chicken and ribs over there, whole trailer full of firewood to keep the fire going hot. And what's really special about this is something that you're gonna see soon. It's called a boil over. My first authentic Wisconsin fish boil. This place has been doing it for, I think over 30 years. I'm gonna to talk to the owner in just a second. Buttery cod cooked in one of the cauldrons. I asked, it's just salt and water. It's a pretty simple recipe. Salt and water, butter with the fish after it's been boiled. There is something undeniably charming and delicious about this dish. Hmm. Sweet white fish, so tender and buttery. You know what this tastes like? And you're gonna call me crazy. It reminds me of lobster. Like a more tender bite of lobster. But that is so good. Mm. Usually with my fish, I like some tartar sauce. I like a little heat. 100% satisfied with the bite of this. Mm. Also come with sides of onions, potatoes, drenched in butter as well. Mm. If you come here, you can get the fish only for $16. Once you pay $20, you get fish, chicken, and ribs. This tastes like you're basically in someone's backyard eating their barbecue, which is pretty much what I'm doing right now. Wow. Bread is so good, too. Bread is good, coleslaw is good. Fish is excellent. Wow, ah, chicken is good, too. 100% good, the chicken when you come here. They were out of ribs, so I'm gonna go back and, and, and try out the ribs. But I absolutely love unique experiences like this. I never knew Wisconsin had something like this. Mm. Finally got some ribs. Again, it's not a place. If you're looking for like a fancy seafood restaurant or a fancy barbecue place, this is not it. This is just homey backyard barbecue. Yeah, that's one rib. For me, Fun fire show. Get to learn about a food experience I never thought existed here in Wisconsin. Got to have some cod that somehow tastes like lobster. Wisconsin fish boil. I like it. One last thing to try on the menu. It is the apple pie. And this thing is made here as well. 
Mm. That is gooey. Oh, this is more like a apple strudel, isn't it? Mmm. Oh, delicious. Don't leave here without eating this. Like I almost did it, because I, I got I'm going off a dessert now, so I almost missed out on this gym. Oh, that's good. Ah, so flaky too. So by now you guys might be wondering, what exactly is a Wisconsin fish boil? Kevin? Okay, so the fish boils kind of have hung around, mainly up in the Door County area. We brought it down here to southeastern Wisconsin. It was used up there in the turn of the century to feed large groups of guys in the mining camps and logging camps. So we brought it down in about 1978. We moved here to this location in 1990, and that's what we specialize in, a fish boil. So in the pots, we use North Atlantic cod and potatoes and onions. You put it all into the big pot, which I'm sure you've seen. And once the fish is done cooking, you boil over the pot, which gets rid of the oil and the fat that has floated up to the top. So when you take the fish out, you're left with a cleaner fish. And then, of course, we replace that with good old Wisconsin butter. There you have it. Also, uh, Kevin, is it weird that I think it tastes like lobster? No, it's, that's <laughs> what it, people <laughs> yeah. comment on. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's just... So it's not just me? Not just you. <laughs> not just, we have a lot of people that don't like fish, but mm. they'll eat this. Gotcha. Well, yeah. I had a yeah. great time here. And you guys eating outside with the cool mm. weather? It's, I think yeah. it's best to eat it outside. Smell the firewood. Yeah. Smell the smoke? Yeah. So I thought I went the wrong way because I'm looking for this ice, ice cream parlor. This is a residential neighborhood and here it is, ice cream parlor. Hanson's ice cream. I'm pretty sure in Wisconsin, every single restaurant is just in the back of someone's house. Look at this. Does this look like an ice cream parlor at all? I think it's cool though. This is the coolest ice cream parlor ever. Look at this. They got a candy shop in this ice cream parlor. Oh, I remember this. I remember not knowing how to ever eat this. I don't think I still know how to eat this. Today's flavors. Let me show you why I picked this place. I'm really indecisive when it comes to ice cream places. I don't know, I want it all. And this place gives you all the flavors in one ginormous plate. Well, you know, to-go box, but there it is. Every single flavor they have. You don't need to decide. All you gotta do is just eat. I don't even know what flavors all this is. You know what I like about this is they're, they're small. They're one ounce scoops. So you can try all this without actually, you know, making your stomach explode. Mm. Taste of like a soda almost. Oh, I think this is birthday cake. Yep, birthday cake. I think this is cookie dough chocolate chip. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. I think all ice cream parlors should just do this. Sit here with just every single flavor in a small scoop. Mm. I am officially beginning to like Wisconsin. Is there a cheese curd flavor? There's no cheese curd flavor? Well, that's just not right. Happy Monday back in St. Louis. The only thing bad about Mondays in St. Louis is a lot of the food places are closed. So I had to look up what is available to eat. And this place is a place everyone tells me I should try. Salt and smoke barbecue. All right, so this place specialty is the trash ribs. I got all of that. Tons of sauce here as well. Bestie sauce, hot tangy sauce, mozzarella. I can't even sauce. Okay. Whoa, these ribs look so beautiful. Look how amazingly smoky they are. This thing is just completely blackened on the outside. And it feels so tender. Wow. I'm barely lifting it, and it is just coming clean off the bones. I mean, just no effort whatsoever. Okay, ribs, about as tender and as smoky as they can be.
I do feel though, needs some sauce. This is the brisket burnt ends. This is probably the best looking brisket I've seen outside of Texas. Every brisket I've seen in Kansas City, St. Louis seems to be very thin and dry. This is the first one I've seen that kind of reminds me of how they do brisket in Texas. This one, flavor is there. Smoke is definitely there, little dry. It's so interesting with a plate full of meat, the chili's best thing on this plate. And it has really, really good chili. Tinder brisket inside the chilies. It's spicy, it's smoky. This is delicious. Oh, the fries are perfect. I mean, I should be raving about the brisket and the ribs. Oh, the fries are so good. Wow, this place. I think this place's size are better than the barbecue. Deviled eggs is amazing. So creamy. With that piece of bacon just sticking up there, not only is it delicious, it's beautiful. I wanted to give uh, the brisket another chance, so I, I, I feel like the burnt ends may be a little dry. This is the fatty brisket. Again, it looks totally different than all the other briskets I had in Kansas City and St. Louis. It's a thick cut reminiscent of what they look like in Texas. Again, flavor good, a little dry. Yeah. A lot dry. I think out of the meats, the rib is the best thing here. And I don't know whether it's because I'm here in the afternoon, but everything is a tad dry. These are called the trash ribs. These are flash fried St. Louis ribs. And this is supposed to be the signature food item here. <laughs> oh, these are way better. Best meat here. Hands down, not even close. First of all, this thing has just like the Tiniest slight crunch on the outside. The sauce is amazing. I got the hot one. Wow, sauce is so good. Meat falls off the bones, it's juicy. And unlike the smoke ribs, so much flavor. This is 100% the best dish here. These may be the best ribs I had in St. Louis. The combination of the sauce and that light crunch on the outside of the meat, this is masterful. Wow. Come here, get this, and get the size. This place probably has the best size I've had at any barbecue place ever. Those are definitely the best fries I've ever had in my life. I mean, if McDonald's french fries run into these things in the back alley, it will be volunteering its own lunch money. I mean, the french fries, the mac and cheese, these are Ritz cracker mac and cheese. I was wondering what the crispy stuff on top was. Ritz crackers, mac and cheese, delicious. But for the brisket, I don't know why I keep hoping that like a brisket I will find in Missouri will be better than anything I could have in Texas. But come on, no one's doing brisket better than Texas. Also, what I really like about this place, right across the street, ice cream shop. Apparently the gooey butter cake's the best thing here. Oh, that is good. Oh, I love this. Mmm, there's actually gooey butter cake in the ice cream. It is definitely getting colder. So many things are, are happening on the horizon. Heading to San Francisco this week, then back to Texas, then to LA for my first ever BTS concert. Do I count as part of the army if I go once? And then December, heading to Puerto Rico. I kind of have an idea what I want to eat in Puerto Rico, but any must try places, let me know. Also, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I've been talking about HelloFresh, I think for almost three years now. And I'm still so excited every single time I get the HelloFresh box. Well, I'm not getting it this time. I've been traveling around, so I've been sending it to my editor, Jennifer. And there's so many reasons I love this food delivery service. One of which is I hate grocery shopping. I can't help myself. When I'm in the grocery store, when I'm surrounded by food, I lose all form of self-control. I'll buy anything and everything. I bought broccoli once. I did. I bought broccoli and a bunch of cheese, so I just covered the broccoli with cheese, trying to be healthier, you know? But then I figure a ratio of one to three broccoli to cheese probably isn't the healthiest thing. Also, when I buy too much, the couple days before leaving for a trip is, is literally like Joey 
when his fridge broke in friends. Just try my best to pretty much eat everything before it goes bad. And with HelloFresh, you get pre-portioned ingredients. They offer a variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals. It's really easy to prep. The cleanup is a cinch. That saves a lot of time and stress. Also, the most important thing, I tell you guys this all the time, it actually tastes good. You know what I mean? If something doesn't taste good, I'm not gonna tell you it tastes good. And this, this tastes good. And that shouldn't be a surprise because HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit service. And right now, as we're approaching the holiday season, holidays can be really hectic. HelloFresh has got more than just meals at their marketplace. You can find a variety of add-ons for breakfast, dessert, snacks, like Pillsbury pumpkin cookie dough. And like I said, HelloFresh come with pre-portioned ingredients, so there's less prep time for you and obviously less food waste. So if you want to get this a try, go to HelloFresh.com and use code CHEM14 for up to 14 free meals and three free guests. All right, another iconic St. Louis barbecue joint crossed off the list. Right in early tomorrow, see you in San Francisco.